Martinsville. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us for something different here on BTW 21, your neighborhood network. We appreciate you taking some time to join, especially during the holiday. So, of course, every year we have the tradi tradition here of asking everybody what they're thankful for, and there's a lot that we uh, have uh, to be grateful for. So we start off with uh, our producer and uh, digital content creator, Chanel Dalton. Okay, what am I thankful for? Um, first, I'd like to say I'm extremely grateful for God. He has been with me since I was born, before I was born. Um, he's always been there for me when nobody has been, someone I can talk to when nobody's there. And I'm extremely grateful for that. Um, I'm thankful for family. These past couple of years has been quite tough on us. It's gonna be really tough this year, um, losing my grandmother this year and um, losing my grandfather's the year before, last year actually. So. It's going to be quite tough, but I know one thing that's always been in our family is love on both sides. Um, love never fails. God's love never failed. My family's love has never failed. My friend's love has never failed. And that's one thing that's always going to keep me up, and I'm super grateful for that. Um, I'm extremely thankful for this job. I, it's only God made the way for me to be here, and I'm extremely thankful for each everyone that's here um, they always push me <laughs> to be my best and push me to do things I've never done before but I've always figured it out and I'm um, grateful that they have patience with me although I might not know what I'm doing sometimes but um, we always work it out and um, I'm grateful for just my health overall um, I haven't had a lot of health issues especially with COVID and the flu going on and all that and I'm extremely grateful for that. I don't have to stress and worry about that, especially um, have to come up here because I live actually live in Eden, so I have to drive 30 minutes every day, but God always makes a way, and I'm thankful for that. I'm just extremely, this year has been a year for growth for me, um, mentally, spiritually, physically, like, um, it's been tough, as I said before, but I've really been growing and learning things about myself that I didn't even know that I like in, to do or like to go. And um, this has been a year of me just being to myself. And of course, sometimes it gets a little lonely, but I'm extremely um, excited for what's coming in my life and through this growth and this time and this season that I'm in. I don't know what's going on all the time, and nobody does really, but I am very hopeful and trusting in God and everything that is going on. Um, and I'm grateful for just, just everything really. Hi, Barry Nelson here. Nelson Toyota in Stanley Town. We got a deal, got a TRD Tundra, uh, midnight edition, full size bed, only one on the East Coast, maybe. We got a 2022 TRD Forerunner Off-Road Edition. That's really hard to come by. Pretty black, come see us. Here's another really hard to come by. It's a 2022 Venza Hybrid. Baby gets over 40 miles to a gallon and I got $500 cash back. Fresh off the truck, a 2023 Camry Hybrid. Baby gets 47 miles to a gallon on a Camry, and plus 2.49 financing. That's the best deal ever. Come see us at Nelson Toyota, where everybody knows cars cost less. Are you looking for a realtor, one that is hardworking, honest, and knows the area? Also, willing to respond to phone calls and answer texts and emails on a timely fashion? Look no further. My name is Cameron Kolinsky. I'm a proud agent with Blue Ridge Mountain Real Estate, serving Patrick, Henry, Martinsville, and surrounding counties. I have experience with clients dealing in land, residential, and commercial listings. My top priority is customer satisfaction and making sure that my clients' needs and wants are met. Consider it sold with Cameron Kolinsky, Realtor with Blue Ridge Mountain Real Estate. Come see us at Martinsville Urgent Care. We're located at 1044 East Church Street, Martinsville, Virginia. Our 
telephone number is 276-634-0010. Our hours of operation are Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We do offer time slots now, so you can call us and get that scheduled so you will not have to wait. Don't forget to come see us at Martins for Urgent Care, 1044 East Church Street, Martinsville, Virginia, 276-634-0010. Call us to get your time slot booked. The staff is friendly, helpful, very considerate, very, very nice. I couldn't ask for anyone to be any more helpful than they've been. When I got here, I was surprised at all the different things that they wanted me to do and how much better I felt after I finished them. And I've worked with just about everyone, I think, and they're all exceptional. I don't mind coming in the door. It doesn't matter who I work with because I like them all. Welcome back and thank you for staying with us. Again, a special edition here of uh, some news, I guess you could call it that, but we are asking all of our workers, our family members here at BTW 21, what they're thankful for. And now we move to uh, assistant, uh, excuse me, administrative assistant, Linda Greer, with what she's thankful for. What am I thankful for? I am thankful for a lot of things. Uh, first of all, thankful is like having gratitude towards people or things that has blessed you. Um, and I am so grateful today for the staff that I work for here at BTW 21. Um, they are a joy and a pleasure to work with. I wish you guys could see and be around them like I am. I thank God for Shania. I thank God for Dustin. I thank God for Louise. I thank God for everyone that's here. Uh, I thank God for Chad. Chad is a wonderful boss and I appreciate him so much. He's created here a great environment to be able to work in a spirit of uh, God here in this place. And what a blessing, what a blessing it is to work with people such as we have. And I am so thankful and grateful to God for that. I'm also thankful for my mom. Um, I might get a little sentimental with that. Uh, I'm glad that I still have her. Uh, I, can, I can kiss her cheek, I can rub her head, I can feed her, I can see her laugh uh, and kiss me on the cheek. But you know, uh, there's so many things I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for my church family. I have got the most wonderful church family I guess anybody could ever have. Wonderful pastors that love the congregation and love the people. Uh, my family, I, love, I thank God for my family. Uh, and my husband. I thank God for so many things and mainly the blessings that God has given to me. 2022 is almost coming to an end. And you know, there's so many things that, that I personally can look over this year and see the things that I've walked through. And I guess the word I would be able to say to you today is, I thank God for His grace. God's grace is sufficient for everything that we need in our lives. And I thank Him for grace. I thank Him for mercy that is new every morning that He gives to us. He's a great God. And most of all, number one, I thank my Father, Heavenly Father, uh, for saving my soul, uh, giving me a life and a home in heaven one day. He is a great God and I appreciate Him so much. And thank God for everything that He's doing in our lives. And uh, I guess that's, that's what I'm thankful for. Uh, grateful, I like the word grateful. Um, that I am grateful uh, for everything that he's done. And you know, it's important for us to thank God uh, for the things that he's done. And just one, one scripture I wanna share with you today on this Thanksgiving uh, program. Um, in the Bible, there were 10 lepers and Jesus cleansed all 10 lepers. And he told them to go see the priest. And they went to see the priest. They were all cleansed. They was going to see the priest. And one of them, one leper, the Bible says, turn around and came back to Jesus and began to say, thank you for what you have done for me. And you know what Jesus said to that leper that day? Where's the other nine? I cleansed 10. 
where's the other nine? The other nine did not come back and give me thanks. And you know, I think the Lord is, is looking for his people. As God blesses us, we always need to remember to be grateful to him and to bless him and to thank him for everything that he does for us. And, and come in 2023, we're looking for great things uh, in this business, in our homes, in our families, in our churches, in our communities. We're looking for great things in 2023. And I just, I'm excited about what God and what we're gonna be able to do here at this station, what we're gonna be able to do in our families, in our churches, and I thank God for that. There's so many things we can thank Him for, and I just appreciate Him so much. Appreciate BTW so much for allowing me to be a part of this. It's such an honor and a blessing. God bless you. Have a great Thanksgiving day. Relationships, they are the most precious and important thing we have in life. An uncorrected or improperly corrected hearing loss negatively affects each and every one of those relationships. Did you know that you have hearing insurance benefits available to you? At Ashbrook Audiology, we are the region's go-to providers for benefits from affordable hearing care, true hearing, and many more. Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter, Martinsville and Dan. Hey, my name is Joyce Renee Watkins, and the reason why I chose chiropractic was because I was having some issues and went myself, and chiropractic really, really works. New clients to come in, we are running a special right now where you can actually come into the office and have an exam and seven different types of x-rays for $49. And then we will get you back in the next day and we will actually treat you and we can let you then put your insurance covers. Now you're getting seven x-rays and an exam. And the x-ray machine here is top of the line and Dr. Zintmeyer is really good. He can really read some x-rays. So I encourage everyone to come. We're located in Collinsville. Our address is 3652 Virginia Avenue, Collinsville, Virginia. We are across from Fenders and beside Walgreens. Welcome back again. Thank you for spending some of your time with us on this uh, holiday weekend or week, I should say. We uh, are going to now turn it over to Dustin Staples, our weatherman, and he's answering the question. What are you thankful for? Several things I could be thankful for. We'll begin with one of those. Of course, I'm very thankful uh, for a loving God who loves upon each and uh, every one of us and very thankful to be blessed and um, part of a church family that I can call home, uh, whether it may be here or elsewhere, but uh, I'm very thankful for uh, a loving God as well. Another thing I'm other thankful for is family, a uh, very supportive uh, group of individuals, uh, especially uh, living with my grandparents for a little bit of a lull now, but it's been very grateful they're supportive and uh, my sister's there with me all the time too. And family, you know, you can go on and on and on about that, but um, as you're gonna be hearing a little bit later on, uh, that word family uh, means a lot, uh, not only to me, but everybody here at BTW21 coming into work. Uh, whenever I'm here, it's a great opportunity. Um, even though uh, Luis gives me a hard time about it being snowy and cold all the time, I still give him uh, a thank you for being um, a good friend and very thankful. And, and uh, we've known each other for almost childhood years almost. So very thankful for him and everybody here, uh, Chad and uh, Shania and uh, everybody here at BTW21. We're just very uh, thankful uh, for them for being here and supporting me as I'm continuing my journey at Radford and uh, soon to be uh, wrapping up my time there. So uh, you've been seeing me long enough, uh, seeing that journey progress and mature from a, just a young kid to now a young adult, uh, as I like to say here as well. Very thankful again for health. Uh, a lot of um, things have been very smooth sailing for me this year. I'm very thankful for that. Um, you know, we come and go and very thankful that I'm able to have a sustainable waking up in the morning and uh, just being here, being a weatherman. I mean, I'm very thankful for the potential and opportunity that I've been able to grow here at BTW 21. I'm thankful for the viewers. You all, yes, you may give me a hard time, but you know what though, the job of a weatherman, you have to just uh, have that uh, strong backbone. You can't have a little 
a flimsy one because if you do, it's not going to go well. But very thankful for the viewers uh, like you for uh, saying, hey, Dustin, uh, you made a mistake and you got one degree off or that spelling error. And a lot of times, you know, I'm back to fixing that as quick as I can. So uh, thank you, uh, as I always have to have an extra set of eyes uh, here. And uh, Luis is also pretty adamant about that, too. So uh, very thankful uh, for that. And again, just uh, thankful to be here working again, celebrating five years uh, next month. It's uh, incredible. Like I said, you've seen me maturely go from this young kid to now a young adult. Uh, here at uh, your neighborhood network and uh, just excited to see what is to come uh, for this upcoming year and many things as well. So thank you all for the continued support and uh, a lot of good stuff. It's just a very awesome opportunity to be here. We've been here for 25 years now and we built a building that was bigger than what we needed when we, when we first started. We've just about filled that place now. One of the things that we really do is we value our employees. We know it takes a long time for them to learn the skills, but people's skills are hard earned, so we make sure that there is a job for them every day of the week, 52 weeks of the year. So even if we're quiet and we don't need people, a lot of businesses still lay people off, send people home. We don't do that. If you want to come to work, we will find you a job because we value the skills that you've learned with us and we want you to stay here and we want you to feel valued. And we want you as a family to go home and say, I'm always going to get a paycheck if I turn up to work for Drake. Which vaccine should a parent get for their child? Well, parents have two options. Both Pfizer and Moderna offer vaccines for children six months and older up to age 17. But remember, the dosages and timing differ slightly for each type of vaccine. So feel free to go to the Virginia Department of Health website to review your options. Again, thank you very much for sticking along with us. Uh, we're asking all of our family members here at BTW21 because we all, as you've heard, consider each other family members and a close-knit family. Now let's turn it over to the guy that signs our paychecks, the big dog, Chad Hall, with answering what he's grateful for. Well, Louise, it's going to be kind of hard to uh, tell you everything I'm thankful for in a couple of minutes, but uh, one, I'm, I want to say I'm very thankful uh, for the Trinity. I want to thank first the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the three being one, uh, for the cross being empty and the tomb being empty, uh, no power in the, and, and no, absolutely no power in the death, grave, and hell. I want to first give credit to the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, for my salvation. Uh, that's the, the greatest thing uh, that I'm thankful for. Um, and again, I've said this many times, uh, God, family, and country is the three things that I deem uh, worthy to die for. So I guess that would roll right back into the next one with my family. I'm, I'm going on 30 years of marriage, got two uh, healthy children, now being a grandpa this year, uh, first time for that. Uh, uh, so that's a new addition to our family. Um, uh, Sylvia, uh, Rosalie Thomas, uh, our, our beautiful granddaughter. So I just thank God that they're all healthy. Everybody's doing good. Mom and dad, uh, you know, are healthy and doing well. And uh, that's important. You know, going right into the church family, I consider my church family, um, they're family. They're not just like, uh, we just go to church to see them every now and again. We're family, whether you in a, a different congregation than New Day or not, uh, we're all in the same body. And, in the scripture says, when one member of the body hurt, they all hurt. So uh, I thank God for the church. And I really think that 2023, we're gonna see the church arise like never before. And uh, I'm excited uh, to see what God's gonna do in 2023. Uh, 20, hey, 2022 has been a good year. Um, it's been exciting uh, working here at BTW in the community. I guess that's another big one uh, for me uh, to be able to be a part of BTW and, and, and to be bringing programming and news and all the things that we do uh, into our community, into the TV, uh, on social media, seeing how the station is just growing and growing. Um, it's really, I mean, again, going back to family, everybody here uh, is just a tight niche family and, and it's really a, a blessing uh, to come to work and to see everybody every day and to see the community we we'll through the years go through a lot of changes, and I really believe that we're on the brink of a miracle in our community. Uh, we're here to continue to build up 
uh, Martinsville and Henry County. And I, I really, I want to say I'm thankful for Martinsville and Henry County. And uh, I believe that we're, uh, the old slogan that the city come up with, I believe years ago, the little jingle, we live, work, and play here. Um, I've always loved that uh, because, hey, I live, I've been here all my life. And to be able to be a little part of giving back to um, Martinsville and Henry County, um, I, I just think it's priceless. So I, I really, I want to say that, that I'm very thankful for my community. I'm thankful for the people that are around us every day, uh, all the folks that support us, uh, that, that are behind us 100%. Um, that to me is just a tremendous blessing uh, in itself. Um, and I got to get into a, a, another aspect. I just, I'm so thankful for health, uh, being healthy, being able to work, not having aches and pains and, and being able to work hard, be able to do things that we got to do. I think health is a major thing and that's something that I pray for uh, over my family and my, my church family. You know, we got to be healthy uh, to get things done. Um, but you know, through the holiday seasons, um, again, we got so much to be thankful for. Um, you know, wake up every morning in a warm house, that's a blessing. Um, we got power, water, and hot water, and we got cooking stoves, and I mean, probably a lot of folks may be watching this now, you're in the kitchen cooking. What a blessing uh, to just see, uh, just look around, uh, everything around us. Uh, we're just truly blessed. And uh, again, I can't say that enough. I could just go on and on and on. Um, uh, I guess, Louise, you should have probably knew you, you don't ask the pastor uh, what he's blessed about. Um, I don't want to go into pastor mode, but uh, I'm, I'm super, super blessed at home with my family, my children, super blessed at the church family, super blessed with my work family, um, and, and, and with everything else going on. I believe 2023 is going to be a super blessed year, and uh, we're just excited, and uh, it's just an honor to be able to come into your homes time and time again. So from the bottom of my heart, from my family, and of course the family here at BTW and all over, uh, we we'll would say to everyone, everyone have a great Thanksgiving, and I hope you have a great uh, holiday season and a Merry Christmas. So uh, again, short version, a lot of things to be thankful for, um, but that God, family, and the country is probably the three that I'm most grateful for. When you slip up, you need a bondsman you can trust at your side. At Apex Bail Bonds in Martinsville, our agents are with you at every step, not just the day you bond out. Need affordable bail? You'll get the same low rates we offer in Danville and Reedsville. Apex Bail Bonds has the only bail bondsman around licensed on both sides of the Virginia-Carolina line. Provides fast releases and affordable bail at the lowest rates allowed by law. Apex Bail Bonds, Martinsville, across from Checkered Pig, for the lowest rates allowed. Martinsville First Savings Bank has been serving Martinsville and Henry County since 1924. Feel free to stop by or call for more information on how our checking, savings, money market, and certificates of deposit can help you meet your financial goals. If you are tired of 800 numbers or online customer service, please contact us. We are local people making local decisions. Visit our office at 25 West Church Street in Uptown Martinsville or call 276-638-8771. And welcome back. Again, we're here at the BTW 21 students in Martinsville. We're asking all of the employees here at BTW 21, your neighborhood network, what they're thankful for. And it's now my turn. I wanted to let everybody else uh, be able to let you know what they're thankful for. But before we end everything here, there's a lot that I'm thankful for, a lot that I'm grateful for. And of course, as you heard, most of us here, we're all Christians here. So of course, my salvation and mercy from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is the number one thing that I'm grateful. I mean, His mercy has been everlasting and it's been just overflowing, um, you know, throughout my entire life. And I'm not deserving of it, but I'm extremely thankful for it. So that's the first thing above everything is again, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. What else am I thankful for? On the list this year jumps somebody that's very, very, very special to me. And that is my nephew, Jasir Dalton. He came into our lives in March of last year. And boy, am I gonna get a little teary up because that kid has um, brought so much joy into my life. And um, I've always said that I don't want any children. That still remains the same, things could change, but um, he shows me what it means to have uh, that love that our um, you know, Savior shows us, or a little bit of it. We're still humans, 
but he has been an extremely, uh, you know, a blessing and a joy to be able to see him grow up. He's already eight months, as you know, going on to nine. So that is one of the biggest things on my list uh, here on earth that I'm extremely, extremely grateful for. So moving along, of course, other family members can't forget them. They would, you know, kill me if I didn't uh, say that I'm thankful for them. A very big family, of course, with Hispanic culture, and all of them are very supportive. Um, one thing that I'm very grateful for is the opportunity to work here at BTW 21. One of the biggest things that, that I always get a laugh and a kick at is um, my mother, every, everyone she meets, she's like, did you know that he's the reporter for BTW 21? So she's ex extremely uh, proud. Uh, this has been a long journey, over 10 years of covering whether it was school news or news here in Martins and Henry County. 10 years, can you believe that? Five years already here at BTW 21. And of course, Dustin Staple and, and, and his friendship has been through all of that and he's seen uh, me grow up and I've seen him grow up and I'm moving along with that thankful for the friendship that Sharon, that Dustin and I share so moving along now to uh, my family here my second family or third family however you want to put it here at BTW 21 man I cannot say enough about those individuals and I'm not going to get Terry about this and I'm going to try to contain myself uh, but these individuals really, really uh, mean the world to me because, you know, they, they get to know you on a personal level and um, even with that, you know, they still love you, listen to you. Uh, for instance, Shania will tell you off, the, off camera, uh, as Linda stated in hers, I, we just wish that you guys could come in and see us and everything that we do throughout the day because it's so much fun. It's always something different. And talking again about Shania, I know I'm going all over the place and I'm trying to slow down. I don't have a lot of time and there's a lot that I'm grateful. I think last year I did about 10 minutes of this. So I'm a talker, of course that's my job, but talking about Shania and any time of the day, I kid you not, it's like 200 different times out of the day that I run into her office and same with Linda and just tell them about my day, tell them about something sometimes too personal um, and they're just there to, to be able to listen um, because when it comes to a job like this, not everyone gets to see what goes on behind the scenes, so they don't always understand, you know, what all happens, and they can relate a little bit because, you know, they see me covering all of these things, so it's always good to talk to somebody that's relatable, someone that's, you know, something's just, just there to listen, so I'm grateful for, again, all the um, friendships and um, family that I have here at BTW 21. Moving along now to my church family, that's also very, very dear to me and I'm grateful for them. Uh, we've had a lot of loss in our congregation and I'm just thankful that through all of that, our church has still been able to remain open because you know we are uh, a church of very few members and with them passing away, which is of course sad and our, our thoughts and our prayers go out to all of those um, you know, that passed away because of COVID and every other illness that has been going on around. I'm just grateful that, you know, we still have that very close, um, you know, relationship at church. And I know that everyone says, everyone's like family, you know, but I really do mean that. But folks, I didn't have enough time to finish it all, but we'll see you next year. And hopefully maybe I have a little more time. Have a good Thanksgiving, everyone. Bassett Funeral Service was founded in 1996 by Daryl B. Martin and Paul T. Kennedy, Jr. We started as a small funeral home in Bassett, and in 2007, we went to one of the largest funeral homes in Martinsville and Henry County. We started with 3,200 square feet, and in 2007, went to over 20,000. Bassett Funeral Service is located at 3665 Ferrystone Park Highway in the town of Bassett. 276-629-1770. Carlisle is an independent college preparatory school located in Axton, Virginia. Founded in 1968, the school sets the standard for excellence in education. At Carlisle, we provide a challenging, nurturing, safe learning environment where students are encouraged to reach their true potential in the classroom, on the stage, or in athletics. You can afford a Carlisle education. Are you looking for a fresh cut steak? Stop by the Sirloin House where we offer hand cut steaks daily. Enjoy our world famous sirloin tips or our chicken tips. We also offer fresh seafood and plate lunches that start at $7.99 for a meat and two. Come see us at 207 South Van Buren Road in Eden, North Carolina 
and follow us on Facebook for all our specials. Call us at 336-623-7778 for all your carry-out or catering needs.